Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Najwa Husseini with Azadi News. ICJ urged to make Rohingya genocide report public. Internet blackout in Arkan enters second year. Rohingya children at growing risk of trafficking in coronavirus outbreak. Over two dozen rights groups from various countries are urging the International Court of Justice ICJ to make Burma's report on the Rohingya genocide available to the public. Burma submitted the report to the ICJ late last month, stating what the government had done to prevent further acts of genocide against the country's persecuted Rohingya minority. In the joint letter sent to the ICJ on June 17 and made available to Anadolu Agency, 30 Rohingya rights groups expressed fears of misinformation if the report remains confidential. We fear that keeping the reports confidential will undermine their effectiveness and allow Myanmar to skirt its obligation to comply with the court's order and its continuing obligations under the UN's 1948 genocide convention, it states, the reporting requirement may not fulfill its intended purpose, especially given that United Nations investigators are not able to operate within Burma, the letter said. It warned that misinterpretation may arise even among the Rohingya people if the report was not made public. The internet shutdown in Burma's conflict-ridden Northwest described by rights groups as the world's longest entered a second year Sunday with locals and campaigners appealing for an end to the blackout as coronavirus fears gripped the region. The government shut down mobile data in several townships across Arkan State and neighboring Chin State on 21st June last year causing panic among residents desperate for information about the unrest. Human Rights Watch had called on Friday for an immediate end to the world's longest government-enforced internet shutdown. It's critical for civilians to get the information needed to stay safe during a global pandemic said HRW's Linda Luckdeer. The country has so far recorded 287 coronavirus cases, including six deaths, but experts fear the low numbers are due to a lack of testing. A government official said earlier this month the internet shutdown would continue until at least 1st August in eight townships. Amid worsening socio-economic conditions caused by coronavirus, the Rohingya children living in the world's largest refugee camp in Cox's Bazar face heightened risk of violence including child trafficking, child labor, and child marriage, child rights organization Aduko said. More than 42 Rohingyas have been infected and three have died of coronavirus in the refugee camps. However, Aduko says that these are conservative figures highlighting that numbers could be much higher. It says accurate information about the illness and measures to prevent its spread is failing to reach most people in the camps. We need to understand that Rohingya children in the refugee community were already facing various forms of violence and safety risk due to the desperate living conditions in the camps, said Mati Rahman Aduko Cox's Bazaar Emergency Response Head of Mission in a statement. To protect children and adolescents from further safety risks, Aduko will implement an information drive to disseminate COVID-19 prevention and response information Information and child protection messages, the charity said. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azadinews.org and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.